Hi viewers, in this video we are presenting some important uh, questions and topics for the JO aspirants purpose, cost and management accountancy point of view. First one, calculate wages due to worker concerning whom the following data supplied. Normal hours in a week 88 hours, actual book hours 100 hours, normal rate per hour 2 rupees 50 paisa, overtime 400 times of normal rate. So that is 340 rupees. Second one Ramu works in a factory where the following particulars apply normal rate per hour 3 rupees normal piece rate 20 percent more of time rate expected output 40 units per hour ramu produces 314 units in a six hours a day Calculate his wages for the day on piece rate basis. So that is 28 rupees 26 paisa. And third one, calculate the total earnings of a worker under wholesale plan, standard time 15 hours, taken time 12 hours. Hourly rate of wage rupees 10 plus a DNS allowance at 50 paisa per hour work. So that equals to 33 rupees. And fourth one Mr. Karthik manufactured 300 articles in one week. He receives a wage of rupees 4 per hour and works for 48 hours a week. Standard time allowed is 10 minutes per article. Calculate the wages according to Alse and Rowan clan. So Alse 196 rupees, Rowan 199.68 rupees. And fifth one, calculate the hourly wages payable to a worker Q according to Taylor method. Higher piece rate 120% of normal rate. Normal rate per hour 20 rupees. Standard output per hour 75 units. Lower piece rate 90% of normal rate. Mr. Q has produced 98 units in an hour. So that equals to 31 rupees 36 paisa. Here, one more topic giving that is types of budgets in budgetary controlling point of view. So actually, the budgets are three types basis of time basis of flexibility basis of functions so in the basis of time four budgets are there first one long term budget second one short term budget third one is current budget fourth one is rolling budget and basis of flexibility budgets are First one fixed budget and second one flexible budget. So basis of functions purpose. First one sales budget. Second one production budget. Third one purchase budget. Fourth one selling and distribution budget. Fifth one labor cost budget. Sixth one cash budget. 7th one capital expenditure budget and finally 8th one master budget.
and again giving short questions for the purpose of practice calculate the fixed cost from the following particulars sales 2 lakhs variable cost 40000 profit 30000 so that equals to 1 lakh 30000 second one calculate the variable cost from the following information sales 4 lakhs fixed cost 40000 profit 35000 that equals to 3 lakhs 25000 third one is determine the contribution from the following particulars sales 8 lakhs variable cost 80000 profit 70000 so that equals to 1 lakh 50000 fourth one calculate bep from the following particulars fixed cost 1 lakh 50000 variable expenses 10 rupees per unit selling price 15 rupees per unit so that equals to 30000 units fifth one is calculate bep in sales for the following data fixed expenses 4 lakhs variable expenses 30 per unit selling price 40 per unit so that equals to 60 lakhs 16 lakhs sixth one calculate BEP for the following particulars sales 5 lakhs variable cost 3 lakhs fixed cost 1 lakh so 2 lakhs 50,000 is the answer seventh one is calculate contribution and PV ratio from the following particulars selling price per unit 80 rupees variable cost per unit 40 rupees fixed cost 2 lakhs production 10,000 units so contribution or 4 lakhs PV ratio is 50 percent eighth one if fixed cost is 14,000 rupees profit is rupees 6,000 and sales are rupees 50,000 what is PV ratio? 20% Ninth one Given the following Calculate BEP Sales 3 lakhs Fixed cost 75,000 Direct raw material 1 lakh Direct wages 60,000 Direct expenses 40,000 so that equals to 2 lakhs 25,000. Tenth one, calculate BEP sales from the following fixed cost 22,800, sales 80,000, variable cost 42,000, that is 48,000. Calculate direct material variance from the following. Standard output 600 units, actual output 500 units, standard quantity per unit kg 1 rupee, total actual quantity used 600 kgs, standard rate per unit 14 rupees per kg, actual rate per unit 15 rupees per kg. So 2000 rupees. 12th one calculate material mix variance from the following standard material A 60 units at the rate of 5 rupees per unit material B 40 units 10 rupees per unit actual material A 50 units at the rate of 6 per unit material B 50 units at the rate of 8 per unit so that is 50 rupees for A and 13 one 
calculate labor cost variance from the following standard output 100 units standard time per unit 2 hours standard rate per unit 3 rupees actual output 80 units total actual time taken 150 hours actual rate per unit 3 rupees 50 paisa so 45 rupees is the answer so one more diagram important point of view giving that is cost sheet cost sheet mentioned prime cost factory cost cost of production cost of goods cost of sales so these are very important for JO aspirants first particulars of cost amount and per unit so opening stock of raw materials addition purchase of raw materials and less closing stock of, of raw materials then raw materials consumed then add to direct labor and direct expenses these are called as a prime cost next factory overheads addition opening work in progress less closing work in progress and less sale of byproducts of or scrap value then that is called as a factory cost and next addition administration overheads so remaining amount is cost of production and add opening stock of finished goods and less closing stock of finished goods so remaining figure is called as a cost of goods sold and add the selling and distribution overheads that is called as a cost of sales finally add profit or less loss so final figure is sales this is very important uh, diagram for the preparation point of view and also in this video we are given questions only not with analytical for the purpose of practice point of view so try and solve the all questions all the best